Hi, I'm Keith Becker from Didi's Rentals. With me is CC Rosas. Today we're talking about advertising and marketing properties to get them and to, to present them to your prospective applicants. How do you get the word out there? Now the fact is in the year 2012, the laws have changed. We do newspaper advertising, but it is such a small percentage of our efforts that it's a specialty item. People request it and then we do it, but not typically. Typically, we use signs. I don't know if you can see that, but we have a DD's rental sign. This is one of our examples. And we put them out at the property. The signs that we use are similar in quality, construction, and size to the ones that you would find from, for example, a sales agent. We don't like putting those little ones in the window. We want to have the most professional efforts you possibly can. Now, those efforts only go so far. In addition, you have online efforts. Now, as far as online efforts, what are the different choices and approaches that you can take in terms of getting your properties onto the internet, for example? There's so many different options that you have. There's a, a wide range of different websites you can put your properties on. There's rent.com, there's My New Place, there's Sonoma County Rentals for here in Sonoma County, as well as I'm sure there are specific web websites to the areas that you are in. Also, there is Facebook, there is Twitter, there is Google Maps, which you are able to advertise different properties and where there are specific to in the, in the areas that you're located in. There's also Craigslist, CZ. There also is Craigslist. Whoa! There is Craigslist, one of the top ones that a lot of people use. Definitely be careful, be careful of scams. There is also My New Place, there's Rent.com, there's Rentals.com. There are so many different options you have available in order to get your property seen and get people to see what you're looking for. Especially Facebook and Twitter are really big right now, so those are definitely going to be one of the top ones you're going to want to look into. Our approach, and I think that anybody who's looking at advertising properties as a strategy, needs to put things together. It's almost like a network. Everything cross-references against everything else. The signs of the property should reference to your website if you have one. The website should, should reference to the street address. There should be paper flyers. We have flyers in our office for our own company, for example, but everything cross-references against everything else so that it's all pushing forward to say, we want to make it easy for prospective applicants to find the property, see the property, apply for the property.